Hi friends, it's Lucky Creations back. I don't know what I'm doing. I just had a disaster with glitter, but we're gonna try to get through this video. Stay tuned. Welcome to Scrapbooking Beautiful Layouts by Lucky Creations. Hello, 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 crafty friends. It's Lucky Creations back. I know it's been a while since I came to you with a video, but today I am just doing a new video for you. But it's not gonna be the same thing that I'm used to doing. So you're used to me doing videos for scrapbooking and for journaling more recently. But I gotta admit, I've been kind of cheating on scrapbooking <laughs> a little bit. I've been doing some of my other crafts. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a project with drum roll resin. So what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be making some earrings. You heard it from resin. So that's what this video is today. I'm going to be making some earrings for St. Patrick's Day using some UV resin and some new four leaf clovers. Now, this brand of resin that I'm going to be using, this is a brand purchased from Amazon, and it's Bereason UV Resin. I love, love, love this resin. I haven't tried a lot of brands of resin. I tried um, this one. I actually tried some that I had purchased from Walmart, which is more of the 24-hour clear resin, this kind from Mod Podge. This was made from this resin, see? Okay. So that's what I've been using. Now this, when I initially purchased it, I purchased a set from Amazon which had uh, two of these 100, uh, 100 gram bottles of the resin. It had the lamp, it had um, a couple little other things, but not a whole lot in that little kit. But I really, really enjoyed that resin so much that I've actually ordered four more bottles. What we're going to need for today's project is UV resin. Again, I purchased these little four-leaf clovers. This is from the brand UV Resin Craft uh, from Blue Moon Studio. And I purchased these from Michaels. Okay, So these are real little dried four-leaf clovers. They're really cute. So we're going to need that. We are going to need... I'm also going to incorporate... Uh, I think I want to do some gold... So I have these gold flakes uh, that were purchased also from Michaels, some Crafter Square. I purchased these molds. Also, these were not in the kit that the resin came in, and I've used these a little bit. But they had these four molds with different earrings, and I really like these more than just the kit that came with the resin. So I'm going to be using these molds and haven't decided which one I'm going to use, but yeah. And you can see my molds are dirty, but we'll work it out. Okay, so got my molds, got my resin, got my little colovers, got some glitter. I also have some green glitter that I purchased from Fine Glitter from Dollar Tree. This is a Crafter Square. So yeah, I'm going to use some of that in my project. So I want to just show you some other things that I made. Look at these earrings. Aren't those gorgeous? I don't know. Oh, my light's not on. That probably would help if I turn the ring light on. I don't know if you can see the light good, but these are just so pretty. So these little earrings that I made, and I apologize if you can't see them very good. Um, they are so cute. They have silver and gold glitter. They have gold flakes and they actually have little like diamond jewel studs in the middle that I got from craft store. And the, it's like these little beads, it's these little beads, Recollections brand, little beads. They're, they're like iridescent color, but they're in like little mini diamond shapes. But I have those suspended in the middle of these. So for these earrings, I just put my little loop and my earring hook 
um i purchased the set again from amazon but i used i got black glitter everywhere guys before i started recording so you see black glitter everywhere because i had a glitter catastrophe happen so please <laughs> excuse my mess but i used this mold here for these earrings okay um i want to show you these so much okay i'm gonna hopefully i don't get like in trouble but i actually made these also okay i'm gonna show you how they're going because i don't want to aren't they cute aren't they cute i think i got so much good stuff on my table like oh my store is gonna be like popping but these are just some different little beads and things that i've made so yeah this is why i haven't been scrapbooking because i've been making all this fun stuff little buttons and beads and Here's some more little buttons. I've been making some jewelry, y'all. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. Okay, so let's get going. So, for today's project, again, I want to make some St. Patrick's Day earrings with these little clovers. And so, always going to need a face mask or some kind of mask. Um, I'm actually sitting by a, um, a door. I'm in my kitchen and I have my door leading out to my back patio here. So I'm going to open that just to ventilate because this is a chemical. And I can tell you that when you first, at least for me, I have a very, very sensitive nose. And when I first opened this, I didn't really smell it. So I'm like, oh, I don't have to use my mask. Well, it snuck up on me and I can tell you the next day or so I was sneezing like crazy. So please wear some type of mask. This one probably isn't even enough, but this is just, you know, we got these laying around from the pandemic. So put one on and this one does help. Okay. Also going to need some gloves. I just have some, um, are these latex? Nitrile. The nitrile gloves. I got those. I you can use those little white um exam gloves too, but to me those they break very easily. They don't all fit your whole they don't snug your hand. So I prefer these because I like to get messy. Okay, so so I got my gloves on, I got my mask on, got my ventilation. Very important that you stay ventilated. Now you have to keep in mind that this resin is it is it's in this black bottle because it is as soon as that uv light hits it it's gonna start to cure okay i have on a lot of light here so I'm, i gotta move fast because i don't want my resin to start to cure before i actually get finished if there's no sunlight out right now but um honorable mention <laughs> i made this little mold right here with a glue gun i went on youtube i don't know if you can see inside there but yeah i literally made that with glue sticks so anyway honorable mention <laughs> okay let's get going so today which earrings do i want to do i'm kind of torn between and i have glitter everywhere oh my goodness i don't know if i want to do these i've done these already i may do these because i'm actually planning to wear these this weekend so this pack of clovers i have four maybe i'll do all four earrings i'll do maybe i'll do one with the teardrop and then since there's a smaller clover hmm oh these will be cute I like the shape of these, so maybe but it's a four-leaf clover. Hmm, don't want to do round or do I like the shape of these, so I think I want to do the small ones in these. So I'm going to use these two molds, okay? So I'm just going to play. And my, you can see my, again, my things are kind of messy because I got stuff everywhere, but that's okay. Okay, so some other things that you'll need. You'll need something to stir, so you need like a wooden spoon You'll need a little cup. As you can see, this cup has been used. So I'm actually going to, I purchased these little Dollar Tree cups into my actual cup cup sum. I like these because they pour, they bend and they're flexy and they pour very good. 
So I actually, I've never used those other ones. So I think I'm going to just use that for now. Now I know I'm going to mix up some, I'm going to put some glitter in there, but I don't know. So when I, for instance, when I made this one, um, I basically just added some big, big chunky glitter. It's hard to see it on a colorful surface. I added some big chunky purple and purple and like turquoisey blue glitter to that. Just that clear resin. But so when I made this little one here, I just used some gold sequins around the side. You can see those chunky gold sequins. And that inside of there is actually a logo that was um, used on the 24-hour resin in another in a different mold. Okay, so here are some earrings that I made. So hard to see. I haven't finished these. I haven't put the hoops on them, but I just actually made those earrings out of this mold here. And this one I had with um, some those chunky diamond-like studs, some of the and some of the gold flakes. That's all these are, and I kind of tried to ombre it, but they're so pretty, so so pretty. So lots of things you can do. These are actually I like this one too. I, I'm doing show and tell of things that I've kind of done before. These are earrings that are in the making that were with this oval kind of mold right here. So I just you what I did with those, I just got some white acrylic paint. Very, very light because when you add paint to the UV resin, it's going to take longer to cure and it's going to, so you just have to be mindful of that. Um I added some sparkly glitter to the white, just plain white Walmart acrylic paint and that same colorful glitter that I showed you from the other earring which is right here yeah this one so just that glitter and some white acrylic paint and then some just some sparkly i think i had some paint that had just shimmer i added a little shimmer in there also and that is the making to these earrings so you can do all kinds of good things like these molds are awesome okay so let's get going so the first thing that we're going to do, this resin is, it has, the, it comes with a, uh, this type of little closing, but it also comes with these little spigots. And I love them because you don't really have, unless you're kind of dye or color the resin, you don't really have to mix it, okay? So you can just pour it right in there. Now I do have a lack of glitter again, and I, ugh, I'm just a mess. <laughs> I did not. I've been doing project after project, and Whoopi, stop it! My bunny rabbit is making noise because she hears me talking. Um, I've been doing project, and I again I had a glitter catastrophe, so just trying to get some of that black glitter up. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do for first pair of earrings. Now tweezers will help here as well, so I. You'll we'll also need a lighter because with resin it tends to get bubbly and you'll need the lighter to get off some of those bubbles. Got some more craft sticks, but okay, so I'm gonna grab my little tweezers here. I think I got everything that I need for now. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do before I add in the clovers, first I'm gonna open it up. They're very delicate, so I need to be very, very careful when I open these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the bigger ones first and I'm gonna just go ahead and like, these are very delicate. So I'm just gonna separate the big ones and the small ones. Okay, so I got everything ready to go. Now I know I wanna have some glitter too. Now if I wanna use an ombre, I'm trying to think, I kinda want, I like the effect that I got on that one earring where I had glitter on the side. So I'm all, I almost want to, no, I think I, I figured it out. I'm going to add some flakes. Okay. So what I'm going to do first 
is, and these gold flakes are very, 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 if you've ever worked with them, they are, <laughs> once you touch them and put them down, they're there. So you just have to be careful. So I'm just, with my tweezers, very gently, just going to grab some gold flakes. I'm not going to do this all over. And if you have a little, your toothpick, or I have this little tool that I, which was actually a nail in a nail kit from Dollar Tree. It's been pretty helpful too. So just going to put some of those gold flakes down in my mold because I know I want to fancy them up a little bit. And I'm going to do opposite side here. So since I, I went on that side, I'm going to put some on this side. Just trying to put it on the side more or less than anything. So I'm just grabbing this gold foil, gold flakes, whatever you call this stuff. And just adding some along the side is what I'm intending to do. Now, I don't want to scratch my mold, so I'm going to just go in with my toothpick and or my popsicle stick and just put some of that on the side. Again, just want to fancy it up a little bit. Just give it a little bit of bling, bling. Okay. Opulence and elegance. Now, I want to do the best I can to make these the same. Okay, so just do the best you can here and get it in there. Okay, so I think I just want to add one more tiny little piece on this side because it seems like I have more on the opposite side. So see, all I've done was just add those gold flakes around the side just to kind of now, I can always look on the back. It's always a good idea, especially if you have something that's not going to waste. And, like, I'm glad I did that because there's one little spot there that I don't want to be open. So, I want to make sure I have gold foil in that one little spot. So, sometimes it's important to look on the opposite side to make sure that you are... You know, that it looks the way that you want it to look on the other side. And that is okay. I wish I could just, I'm just going to gently press that back a little bit because it got a little bit more further up than I wanted it to. That's okay. Okay. So now that I got the gold flakes in there, I know I'm going to use some glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and... Just grab this green glitter, put it over here to the side. I already have some gold that's already open. I actually have this one. I'm going to sit that over there because I might get inspired. I have these little ones, but they aren't open yet. They're pretty much the same thing, just a smaller version of these. So I think what I want to do, actually I'm going to go ahead and put down my first little tiny layer of resin. Now I'm making sure there's no UV light here. So... Got my top off. I'm just going to squeeze my resin around the mold, around the side. Make sure I get that little part where that little earring opening is. And I just want to add one layer on there initially, okay? Now, I'm not covering the whole thing at this point. Because I'm going to do this somewhat in layers. I just want to add that first initial layer. Now, it's important when you are doing this that you spread all of your... And I know I got a little bit of foil there. I'm okay with that. But you just want to make sure that you spread. And I know I got some of that little black glitter flakes and I'm okay with that. So with resin, you want to make sure that A, you've covered all of it and be that you do not have air bubbles and that's the other thing about this brand of resin that i've noticed that it does not have a lot of air bubbles which is awesome i just want a little bit more of this right over here because i feel like it just needs a little bit more okay now again i'm just going to gently pick this up and Give it a look underneath just to make sure everything's spread right. And it is. 
And I'm going to move my resin out of the way and close it while I go get my plug. I'm going to use my little one here just because I'm filming. So I'm going to go ahead and do a cure for about, oh, of course it's not plugged in. <laughs> course when you're filming you don't have things working the way that you want them to work <laughs> so once I plug in my UV lamp now I'm going to give this about a one minute cure and again make sure everything is kind of how I want it I'm not going to even cure it for a whole minute I just want to kind of lock that in place. Normally, I would go tell Alexa to, you know, give me a minute or so, but I'm not even going to do that right now because I don't really want to do a hard cure, okay? Maybe even 30 seconds. Okay. So, it is not cured at all, but you can see I, I just did that because I want my clover to kind of stick so now I'm going to grab my tweezers very gently. Now, mind you, this is the back of the earring. The part facing down is the front. So just be mindful of that. So I'm going to get my clover and the side that's vibrant green is the front. So I'm going to lay it down very gently. Like, so, and keep in mind this resin is not cured so but it's tacky enough to hold that clover in place which is why I gave it a quick little mini cure and be very careful because you will break the leaves like I think I almost just took a little chunk out of it here so just be very careful now my little leaves are not twins so I'm trying to like get the stem to somewhat be consistent but it's not going to do that and I'm not going I don't want to mess it up so at this point I'm just going to go with it how it is okay now I think I want to well, I'm reluctant do I want to use glitter cuz I feel like I need to have some green glitter just over there just because I have that gold so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut a little end of my glitter. And here's where these little tools are helpful. You can just use it as like a little scoop. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that green glitter. And this one is even being stubborn. <laughs> but just add it a little bit over top of that gold here. Just again to give it a little bit of green because it is St. Patty's, okay? So just some green over the gold is all I'm doing there. Okay, I'm going to just lift it up. Uh, that's okay. Eh, it's okay. And I feel like I want something more. So I'm just going to go up over the top. And I'm just going to like sprinkle, just sprinkle a little glitter all over it. Just a little bit of gold, not, uh, excuse me, a little bit of green glitter. Nothing too crazy. Just to give it a little bit of sparkle, okay? Okay. So now, I think I want a little bit of gold over, just a teeny little bit of gold. So I'm going to go grab a couple of these little flakes. And that one went down too. Of course, I go there. Grab a couple little flakes and put across the top part. Oh, and that's way too much. How much did I have there? Just want a little bit of this stuff. This stuff is it's very generous. You don't need a lot. I just want a little gold at the top just to give it a little bit of gold contrast there okay so i'm just being very careful to work a little bit of that gold kind of at the top just a little 
because I want my clo my four leaf clover is the star of the show, right? So I just want to have a little bit of glamour to it. So I'm just adding a little bit of that gold foil at the top. And I'm going to, again, pick it up and just see what it looks like. Oh, I like that one. So see, I'm glad I did that because I see that this one kind of is coming up more. And I like that. So I want to add a little bit more of the gold over here. But being very careful not to cover up my clover. Okay. Now that initial gold was kind of foiled. It was cured in there. So um, just, yeah, I like this. I like what I'm doing here. So I'm going to add some more on that. Because I, when I looked it, at it, I like the way that it looks just kind of cascading off the side with that gold. I really like that, how that's looking. So I'm just going to make sure that they both do that. Again, I'm giving it a little lift up. And I think it's just about how I want it. I'm a OCD, so I keep seeing just little stuff that I can, just little places I want to fill in. Okay, so I'm just filling that in with the gold. Again, making sure, and this gold is going to stick. As soon as I put it down, it starts to stick, okay? So I'm good with that. There's just one little, one little spot there that I got. Okay, so now I am ready to go back over the top with my top level layer. So I'm going to just go around with my UV resin. And fill in the top layer. And I don't know about anyone else, but this is just so satisfying to me. So, so satisfying. Okay. This bottle will make um, quite a bit of, of earrings. I've been making earrings. And again, I probably made between making earrings as well as um, different little uh, gems and jewels to go inside earrings. Um, you, now, th there's a little hole here, a little sec here for where the hole for the earring goes. So just make sure that you kind of open that up to make sure you get it everywhere. So, because you don't want to not to have coverage in your earring. So, make sure you got the resin everywhere, okay? And I'm just giving it an eyeball. I think I just want to go one more layer. Uh, because this is the back side, okay? This is the back side of the earring. I do not want to overfill my mold. Okay, so when I got it pretty much filled up, I'm just going to take my lighter. Because that's going to just take any air pop bubbles out give it a quick lighter and again close up my resin move it out of the way now let's cure this baby alexa set timer for two minutes and i'll be right back oh my two gosh minutes. it did not starting now oh there it goes okay okay so there's a, just a few seconds left of my cure and they probably were cured well before that. Alexa, stop. So there you have it. Now, I, just because I'm me, I always flip it over and give it another cure. Because these are clear plates, and these plates are good. They're clear, and they have already been, like, uh, the back side has been polished so that it gives a really smooth, shiny finish. Okay? So, now all we have to do... Just pop it out of the mold and it is hot so you might want to make sure you give it a second or two to cool but here's your earrings now i did because i over kind of overfilled my mold i have just a little bit of excess this is so easy to get off just with a simple nail file um i didn't clean it up but basically yeah there you go those are cute now I like those. 
there is the making of my earrings. Now, you can see how that pretty glitter, and I could wear them this way or that way, but I like that. I like the cascading gold. I think those are pretty. So I do have to just go file some of that off the end because I had my foil, um, the foil that I added towards the end, I didn't have it all the way smooth. So I, I'll just file that down very easily. But yeah, there it is, and there's the little holes. So I'll file those down. And so how you add the make these earrings, little drill. If I had gone over the whole, this little drill is very neat to see all I have to do go in there and twist it and see there's my hole again so yeah very very good to have one of these little drills okay and again I can file I'm gonna file this down because I got some rough edges on the back side because of course when you're recording you don't do it totally perfect but there's my little hole because I kind of overfilled my mold but yeah this is so pretty these are very very pretty look at just look at the of course i gotta clean that up because i was a little rough handed but look it's easier to see it against white for whatever reason but um yeah got some pretty some cute little saint patty's day earrings so all i need to do is add my my little uh earring hook and my little ring to it and i got earrings okay my jump ring in my little J hooks to my earrings. So there's my J hooks, what they look like. And I'm going to use the bigger, I'm looking for my bigger hooks, yeah. So I'll add one of these, I'll do one of them. You know, I got some cleanup to do. I just want to show you, I actually have some bigger jump rings. I love it when I start to do stuff. Where is my stuff? Oh, here we go. Okay, so I like to use the bigger jump rings. That's just me, personally. So, now I'm going to take the glove off here for a moment because, yeah, it's just easier for me to work with without the gloves. So, to add your jump ring and your earring hooks, I'm going to just grab two of those because I want to demonstrate this. Um, you'll need some pliers, and I've just been honestly using my regular, like regular pliers, <laughs> and they work fine, but I did purchase these that have more of a, you know, a, these are new ones, so they're like, <laughs> okay, so I find that you, it's easier and these are not the right tweezers, but just for demonstration purposes. You know, if you want to use your tweezers, you can, but you basically, you want to grab your jump ring and you always want to go in a curved direction to open it up. See how I curved that? You want to curve it. Hopefully you can see this. See how it's curved? I don't know if I can zoom in. See if I can zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom it, zoom it, zoom it. It's not gonna let me zoom it in, but I can just bring my camera down some. <laughs> okay. So hopefully you can see this a little easier. So yeah. So you just twist it, your jump ring, and you just now if you got eyesight going bad kind of like i am in my older age you may need one of those little magnifying glass things on your head to be able to see what you're doing but i don't have those so i'm just gonna open it up a little bit more and work it in now i because i have so much glitter and i probably could have drilled my hole a little bit better it's a little stubborn going in and of course it does this when i'm demonstrating it but so i'm just going to take this again and i really need to file this down but 
I'm just going to go back through, make sure I clean that up good because I need it to go through there. Just get it, and now that ring should just go right on through. Okay, there we go. Got my jump ring in. So now I'm going to take my earring post, and I'm using the little J hooks. I don't know the official name for them, but I call them J hooks. And get my little J hook around my jump ring. And this is why you curve it, because then you just take your little tweezers and you kind of close it back. Just push it together and curve it back around. Actually, now, I actually enjoy, I think my other tweezers work better than those. So I just kind of give it a little push. And a little twist and yeah there it is it's closed up and so I always turn the side that was closed up on the inside so you don't have to worry about it coming loose and there you have it now again I have to file this down because I went crazy with my but I can really just come with these scissors and do it this way now I can dome these out in the front, but I think they're cute. I think those are cute little St. Patty's Day earrings. Aren't they cute? Those are darling. Okay, so that's how you can make your custom earrings. Now, let's see. Do I want to make a second pair? I'll put those aside. And got a little mess happening here. But I think this time, hmm. Let's do something a little different. Okay, what we're going to do this time, I'm going to demonstrate how you can just kind of tint your resin. And you can use acrylic paint. You got to be careful with acrylic paint. You don't use too much. You don't want it to get really, really like opaque or dark. You want it to be kind of translucent still. But I'm just going to use glitter. I found the glitter, and I'm not even cleaning this. I don't care if there's residual glitter from another project. So I'm just going to add some of my uv resin i'm gonna give it a few generous squeezes and i never know how much is enough so that part i haven't mastered yet but i'm just gonna give it a few generous squeezes because even if i have two more i can make some buttons okay oh and i didn't put my gloves on shame on me put my gloves back on because this is a chemical Safety first. So let me go ahead and put my gloves back on. I don't want my beautiful hums to be chemically messed up. If I can figure out where my thumb is in the glove, that's the hardest part. <laughs> Wait a minute, where does my thumb go? The hardest part is finding my flipping thumb. Okay, there we go. Gloves back on, and, and I'm glad I opened the door because this stuff really does smell. And I'm glad I, the more I use it, at first it doesn't smell, but it kind of sneaks up on you. So definitely be well ventilated, and have on a mask of some sort. Definitely, if you're, especially if you're sensitive like me, allergy nose. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour. I don't have to pour like off too much. Pour a little nice little amount in there. And now I'm not going to go crazy stirring. You have to be gentle with resin because resin produces bubbles. Now this resin is very good. It does not bubble too much and I love it for that. But you still have to be careful. So don't like go crazy, crazy stirring. Stir very gently. And get all of that glitter mixed in. You don't have to stir it very much, but look at that. See, I have just transformed the color, and that's going to be a very beautiful green. Now, the more glitter you do, obviously, the more darker it's going to get. And I want it to be like a darker green. I don't want it to be um, clear green. I want it to literally be like it's green paint glitter paint so I'm just putting some more glitter in there and I'm going to mix it up a little bit of more and then I'm going to let it sit for a second 
when you let resin sit, the bubbles rise. And so the bubbles will rise to the top. And then before I, you know, use it, I'll give it a I'll give it a shot fit with my little heat gun. So this time, I think what I want to do, I'm going to, let's see. What do I want to do? How should I do this? I want to use, I'm almost wanting to do these. I wonder if, where my little clovers go? I'm, I'm just experimenting here. I got to be careful because these things are very, very fragile and they will break. But I kind of got an idea. I just am not sure. I got some teardrop ones. So I don't want to do another teardrop. What about this? How is that going to look? <gasps> and see what I said? So I guess I'm stuck with it now because I almost broke my little clover. So... <laughs> my clover now I did not pour the resin in first so see I did a boo-boo here oh, and it broke so my four leaf clover is now only three leaves ah so heartbreaking so what I'm gonna do <laughs> I really just goofed that up okay totally goofed that up so what I'm gonna do now I gotta improvise because I just broke my little clover I'm going to just fill this resin, this earring up here. I'm going to try to do like an ombre, maybe, is what I was thinking, but I just totally messed up my whole little thing that I was doing there. You know, I'm not happy about that. Okay. I'm not happy about that, so I'm going to kind of push. That out of the way. I'm going to see if I can salvage my clover now. Because, oh no. Oh, how did I do that? I'm going to have to like piecemeal it together. So, in hindsight, yeah, these very sticky tweezers are not the best thing to use. Okay, I have a little bit left over, so I think I'm going to do some of these, okay? I haven't done these yet. Let's do something with those. Okay, so what I want to do with these, I want to use some of my little beads. I love these little beads. So I'm going to gonna just go ahead and this is another reason why these little popsicle sticks are good. I'm just going to add a little bit of the resin at the bottom just to give the just a little tip of it a little green okay fill that up the bottom with the green yeah these popsicle sticks are amazing for this now I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see about where I don't want it to feel too much and the more I over fill in it's going to you know, see how it's starting to spread. So I don't want it to spread too much. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick cure to set it in place so it stops spreading. Okay. And if, once you start to cure it, it it's not going to be totally done, but it's just going to lock it in place. You can even do that cure. See how I did it just for a couple seconds and it's locked in. Okay. So it stopped moving. I just wanted it to stop moving. Okay. So now I'm going to just put in a tiny bit of my clear resin on the top just to kind of fill in that space. I'm not going all the way to the top of it just yet. Just want to fill in that space. And I took my glove off because it broke. If you're wondering, why did she take her glove off? It broke. So. Okay, so I just want to make sure these guys are good too to have their silicone so they because you want to make sure you get it all in there. Sometimes it's hard to see. And I don't have my light above me like I normally would. So yeah, just gotta sometimes and I always move this little guy so the resin gets around that little hole opening. 
I think I see a little air bubble there. So just work that little guy out. Spread it, make sure it's there. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some of these cute, these are so cute. I usually use my little tweezers, but just add some in. It's like plopping little diamonds in there. They are so cute. Spread, add some in and spread them around a little bit. Just add a few of them here and there. Because they really aren't, they, are, they look really pretty. It really does look like you kind of have like little diamonds suspended in there. I'm just going to add about three of them in there. I don't want to add too many. So I'm going to add three of those in there. And, okay, now I've used a lot of gold, so I, I'm a little girl, and I want to use just a few of these little chunky silver ones, so just to give it a little bit more zhuzh, but I want to make sure that I have them kind of strategically spread out. So I think I got it good. And plus, if you have any on the side or excess that you made a mess, this silicone little thingy is good to just remove that so you have a nice, smooth finish. That way you don't have to do too much filing, okay? So give it a cure. Give it a what? Minute, two hours, two minutes here. Alexa, set timer for two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Now, just because I have some more of that resin, I had an idea. I want to do some, just to show you how you can add words to your, your jewelry. So, we're going to do them in this crinkly one. So, again, I got to make sure I do my, see I had it backwards there. So, I want it to be where you can see the look. So I'm gonna go L, I think I'm doing this right. Hopefully, you are doing it right. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it right, okay. So again, upside down, and I'm working them in here. Normally I would kind of put a little resin in there first, but because this is such a intricate mold, I got to make sure I get them in, in here right first, okay? So give me a C. C, give me a C. Make sure I put it on right. And again, putting it backwards. Looks like it's backwards or upside down because that's the way these beads are. And then give me a K. K, K. Now see, it's that word. But again, I'm just, see, look. And I'm going to do good. So I probably should do good luck, huh? Or should I just say lucky? I'll just say lucky. I'll just do lucky and keep it, keep it simple. I'll just say lucky. <laughs> lucky, lucky you. Here, because this one is backwards, my lucky is going to go the opposite way. So now I'm going to fill this up. And with these molds, you really can pour in there and yep we get it all around i know i'm dripping that all everywhere i might have to mix up some more which is i was hoping i wouldn't but let me just get the core in there so if i have to mix some more i'm getting the core in there so if i mix more and i get a different color oh, I'm making a mess um then at least my base color is the same that's my strategy so yep you just fill the molds now with these i won't be able to use those j hook earrings because obviously there's no little hook there's no little hole so i will have to actually use the post and i'll show you how you can put the post on All right, put that aside for a moment, and these ones I think are good. 
This one is, look, it's perfect. Look, lucky, so cute. That is adorable. But as I was looking, I'm like, oh my God, you're going to laugh. You're going to laugh so hard. Look at this one. <laughs> L-K-C-U-Y. I transpose the U and the K. <laughs> so, again, this is a lesson in what not to do. But those came out cute. I will obviously have to redo this one. But aren't those cute? With the exception of... So, to clean your, your little thing. And I've used these things a couple times. Just curious. I still can't believe I did this one backwards. That is so freaking hilarious. So, I'm going to have to do that one over. But... I'm still going to go ahead and just show you how real quick to add on the post and then I'll show you the other earrings. So this is what the little post looks like. Very easy. So basically you have to make sure you get posts that's small enough to fit on the outside of that. Okay. So these posts are a little wide, but it's just enough to work. So all you do, and I'm just curing that just to clean my cup because once you cure it, it's easy for this stuff to come out. It just peels right off, okay? I'm going to show you that. So real quick, what I'm going to do, just and I'm just going to put a little dollop of resin right there. That's a dollop. And I'm just going to take my little posty. I'm stuck in resin. Take my little posty and put it on there. Make sure I put it on the right side because I'm going to roll tonight, boy. And just sit it on there. On the post, okay. Sit it on the post and take my lamp and just hold it to cure it, okay. Just give it a cure. I'm just gonna hold it and give it a cure just to hold that in place, that post in place, okay. Now, once it's secure in place. It's not going anywhere, right? It's on there pretty good. So what you can do now to make sure that that's really secure. Now, normally the post will be smaller. This is a pretty big size post. Uh -oh. So um, just be mindful of the size of the post that you got, but you can make it work. So I'm just literally going to go ahead and get a little resin and literally dome it around. Like, dome it around is basically what I'm doing. That is all I'm doing. And when I'm doming it, I'm just making sure I get, like, the outsides of where the little guy is. I don't want to dome it to the point to where, like, my resin is um, going to be in any excess. I'll just polish it down. That's all. But I don't want to have it like to where it's like loopy here. But this resin serves as glue. Okay. So, uh, and I don't want to put it to where like it won't fit on my ear or whoever's ear is wearing it. You get out of the way, close you up. Don't want to cure my resin. And then give it a cure. So just give it a cure for like a minute or so. And then there's your earring. So once you cure it like that, um, it's pretty much not going anywhere. Some people say they use like E6000 and go over it with E6000 too. Um, I don't find that step necessary per se because if you dome it good, it ain't going nowhere. So yeah, so there. That's how you add your hoop, your little uh post to these type of earrings okay so i'm just gonna let that cure for another second and while i pop these out but yeah this is cute this is an earring yeah lucky that is so cute that is so cute so let's just recap what we've made so far we've made these earrings that have the little four leaf clovers these look, I, I almost, I think the lucky ones are my favorite, actually. I like the clovers, but I like the little lucky. They are so cute. Not too bad I wrote the one backwards, but. <laughs> but let's see, we got some more in here. 
So it's interesting. These didn't cure. I didn't keep them in there long enough to cure, which is interesting. And see, so remember when I told you that the more glitter and product that you add, that you are changing the property of your resin. It sometimes could take longer to cure. This is just so stinking cute. I just love that. Let's just put it there and look at it because it is so adorably cute. It is so cute. Oh, I'm going to wear those to work once I fix it and make sure it really says lucky again. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cured, but again, because it is, yeah, those, this is when I probably would use my nail cure lamp, but let's see, let's see if they're cured enough. I'm kind of worried about that one because I took it out too early, but let's just see. And wow, look, it's perfect. Came out perfect. <sighs> this one is a kind of a fail because my four leaf clover is not a four leaf clover, but so I got some fails here. But look at that. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. This one, not so much because. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I got some duds here. But look at this. So these are so stinking cute. Those are adorable. Look at the little studs. Yeah. So, um, basically, yeah, here you go. So, we've made four pairs of earrings using glitter, some floral leaf clover, some gold foil, and some letters, which <laughs> I still can't believe I got this one backwards, but we're going to fix that one. So, there you have it. I hope you have enjoyed this. And again, I'll add the little posties on these. Clean them up a little bit. But yeah, that one we're not going to show because that one turned out bad. But I got a floral leaf clover earring. So maybe this one will probably end up being like a bracelet. That's what I'll do. I'll put this one as a bracelet charm or something. So yeah, there you have it. That's how you can make your custom jewelry with resin. Yeah, look at that. So pretty. I really like these little like studs. They're so cute. Those turned out so cute. This is actually my favorite with the exception of the one that's messed up that I'll fix. These I love. I love these too. Oh, I never added the post on that one. But how cute are those? Like how cute are those? Yeah. So cute. Oh, it's so cute. Anyway, as always, have a blessed day. Happy uh, St. Patty's Day or whatever you're celebrating. Happy Black History Month. Everything else under the sun. Be blessed. <laughs>